Okay, so I already have one clip at the start and now I want to create a split screen and I'll need three clips for that. This is the first one that I'll use and I'm going to apply crop effect and crop the top and bottom part. Then let's drag the second clip, move the position down and apply crop. Cut the top part only, drag the last clip and move it at the top of the screen. Once again apply crop and cut out the bottom part. Now I'll trim them and make them 40 frames each. Nest each of them separately, apply transform on the top clip first, go at the start, move 4 frames and keyframe the position. Then go back to the start and drag the position to the left. Uncheck shadow angle and change it to 100. Now we can just copy and paste transform to the other two clips so you don't have to do it all over again. Leave the same settings on the clip that's on the bottom and change the position on the clip that's in the middle so it comes from the right. Ok, now when we are done with the first effect, let's do the second one. Take 5 screenshots and make them 2 frames each. Now I need to duplicate the screenshots and I'll do that by highlighting all of them, holding ALT and just dragging them up. Highlight screenshots on the top, right click and nest them. Change the blend mode to linear dodge, so that way we are getting that quick flash effect. As you can see, it's super easy, but it really makes a difference in the video. Let's do the last effect for this tutorial. So I'll track the clip right here and I'll add posterize time. And I'm going to change the time to something like 6. What this effect does is it changes the frame rate of the clip you applied it on. Let me show you before and after real quick. And as you can see, now we have that slow shutter effect. I'll also add a paper overlay and this one that I'm using is completely free. I'll share a download link in the description, so check it out if you're interested. I'll scale it up so it fits the screen, change the blend mode to overlay and make it black and white. At the end, I just did some color grading and for this red outline that you see, I applied sapphire RGB effect on the adjustment layer. And that's about it for this tutorial, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, see you next week.